Hey everybody, I'm Bo Blaze. And I'm Chris Park, and welcome to Comedians Talk to Porn Stars. The show that has cool conversations with cool people who just happen to be porn stars. Today's episode is brought to you by Transcend CBD. 100% organic, full-spectrum CBD oils, gummies, and pain creams for both you and your pets. Chosen as the number one CBD oil in the LA Weekly. Go to blazo.com slash CBD. You can really help and support us by buying your CBD at blazo.com slash CBD. Blazo.com slash CBD. Blazo! Today we talk to Mina Wolf. We have Jim Carrey. You guys have like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm addicted to Blue Steel. <laughs> You're such a bad boy. I'm going to turn you into a turkey. All right. Here we are, folks, with the beautiful Mina Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> Mina, you are a true porn star. Lots of ABN and XBiz and Pornhub nominations and wins. And welcome to Comedians Talking to Porn Stars. Thank you. Thank you. I should actually correct you, though. I am not, I would not be considered a true porn star. There's porn performers, but to be a porn star, you have to like do so many scenes. You have to appear in with so many companies. You have to do certain sex acts. You have to like do all these things. You have to have nominations. So some people only consider certain porn performers, porn stars. I mean, because I just shoot for myself. So I think a lot of people would be like, this bitch is not a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> so I can go if you want. <laughs> That's it. That's canceled. That's it. Oh my God. You're a humble porn star. Oh my a goodness. Humble oh, porn there you star. go. Did you get like a checklist in the mail? If you want to be a porn star, you have to fill this all out and submit it back to us. You know, not everyone's a porn star. I don't consider myself a porn star. I like, Exactly, but if you want to call me porn star, that's fine. But I'm just putting it out there that not everyone will agree with you. Well, okay. in this day and age, we need to let people identify as they wish. Yes. So that's true. <laughs> so, so how would you like us to identify you as? You know, like if people go for auditions, but they don't actually book anything, and they're like, <laughs> "I'm an actor." <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I think you are a porn star because, do you know, on Pornhub, you're number 239. Yeah. Of all porn star. Of all of them. 239. I don't know. That sounds, I, that actually sounds decently high. <laughs> it is very high. <laughs> There's a lot of people who you would say, oh, that's a porn star. And they're not even close to 239. Mm -hmm. That's probably true, actually. Okay. <laughs> all right. See, we've convinced her that she's a porn star. Okay. I'm our so job. We're here with a porn star, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We're, <laughs> our job is done here. We've done this. Okay. Uh, so listen, how have things been for you during these crazy days? lockdowns and you know how's everything going for you well it's actually not that bad um i work at home with my husband so pretty much the same as it always is so we're able to continue on like normal however uh like we had a lot of plans to be working with people from the states flying them up to work with us in canada here and things like that and those plans are canceled just like many other people's plans are canceled so oh, we're making it work but i'm not thrilled about it <laughs> <laughs> who is so wait you're are you in canada now yes oh yeah. well pfft. She is, I mean, listen, you're, you know, you have it much better. You're in Canada, for God's <laughs> sakes. Yeah, things just worked out a little bit differently for whatever reason. I, so, I don't know if you've heard, but what? things are a little weird in the United States right now. <laughs> things are not exactly perfect up here either, but I think like Canadians have a little bit more of like a social responsibility. So we'll see what happens. We're good today, but maybe not tomorrow. That is a... A very nice way of putting it. Yes. <laughs> very diplomatic. But I hear that you are a trooper and that even with the lockdown, you have been busy making new content every week for MinaWolf.com. Absolutely. Yes. That's the that's the life of having a subscription site you have to deliver every week. So, yeah, we've still been working. We've still been putting out good stuff. And hopefully people are enjoying it while they're at home. and. 
I'm not trying to blow their brains out from <laughs> <laughs> depression uh, because of this crazy fucking situation. Yeah, really. You're you're a true well, you're a true Canadian hero. That. True oh, Canadian thank hero. You. Making thank that you. porn every week, goddamn it. So uh, we have done extensive homework on your movies, uh, purely, purely to be ready for this interview, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent many hours last night going over your videos for this interview and for nothing else. Yes, right. Just because we need to know what you do. Yes. You know, and right. you know, I appreciate purely that, education. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you seem to really be into taboo themes and some interesting ones, right? Like uh, the home wrecker, the uh, some horror stuff, and of course the infamous cuckolding. I feel like there's a lot of people who have no freaking idea what cuckolding is. Can you explain to us what that kind of porn is? So that's when um, a man has a fantasy that his wife or girlfriend is uh, sleeping with another man. Um, and sometimes that's about like a humiliation thing where he likes feeling like he's no good and his dick's too small and he can't possibly satisfy her. And here's this hunky man who can. Um, and sometimes it's about like uh, the idea that a girlfriend is pent up sexually and like the only Thing that will help her to blossom is like some other guy's fake dick kind of thing and and stuff like that. So that's what cuckolding's all about. Well, so that's Chris. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you that's bastard. hot. I like it. <laughs> um, Do you want I'm you sure. to tell anybody? Bo? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you're doing it POV in the sense that like the cuckold is the person watching at home. So that's really cool. <laughs> also, something that I now have decided is vampire porn cock munching. That's. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I saw that. It was like you had a, a Subway sandwich in front of you and you were taking a bite out of it. That's what I, that's what I, like that. That's what I saw. Tell taking us, the dick draining to a whole new level, right? <laughs> yeah. You're a double dick draining. Uh, exactly. I do this, um, this genre I've kind of fondly nicknamed like demon-esque kind of porn. So sometimes I'll have like freaky contacts or um, I have um, prosthetic fangs that I put on as well and kind of do like a demon-y kind of thing definitely exciting <laughs> <laughs> i learned how to do like special effects on the computer and things so i can kind of like bring the the fantasy to life a little bit more and um yeah that's sort of like my, most of my nominations were for like a similar style clip uh last year you have a theater tech background, I read. <laughs> I did theater in high school. What a big deal. I was a bit of a nerd, actually. And um, I really liked doing theater. And I did like all behind the scenes stuff, set design, costumes, makeup, stuff like that. Do you edit all your own stuff? And you're like a one person shop? Yeah, um, my husband, Jack, and I, we both do everything. So we do all the editing in house. If there's special effects, I'll do that. That's cool, because obviously it lets you retain so much more of your own rights. Instead of, you know, you just make a couple bucks a scene and that's it. Yeah, it's true. It's like I, I often think I'm, I'm like I'm like calculating it all up. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm getting paid like well more than the average porn star is for a scene. But I am doing the job of a few people <laughs> on the porn <laughs> set technically. So I think it all works out. Yeah. Well, if you can do it 10 years from now, you'll be making money still. You also went to uh, the music school. So I sang a little bit and um, like I was super, super dorky, but I really love it. I love like acapella singing groups. So, I did. so pitch perfect. That's what you were doing. Kind of. We didn't <laughs> like compete or anything like <laughs> silly like that. But uh, Let me ask you some questions about comedy. Who is your favorite comedian? The last special I saw that I really love is you guys see Adam Sandler's special yeah, on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. With, it's just like, I don't know why. I love the jokes with this song. Like, <laughs> it's so it's so funny to me, and it's so kind of like pure. It kind of like lets you laugh without. Like sometimes, especially a lot lately, like comedy, it feels like always has to have this like underlying like message and sometimes that's like a little fatiguing even and and so it's like i love how silly that adam sandler special is i think i've seen it like three times now that's cool like a lot of times comedy is so political these days so yeah. that's just kind of fun 
Yeah, I think so. It's like, can we all just relax? (laughs) You just want to have a good laugh and have fun. Yeah, it's like we get enough on social media, the news, blah, blah, blah. Like, And I get that it's um, an art form and it's supposed to be like a social commentary. That's all very good. Sometimes it's just like, are these jokes or are these just shitty hot takes? <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say quite a few people we know may only have shitty hot takes. Yes, that's true. That, that, <laughs> yeah. could, be, that could be possible. We've all got them. That's yeah, that's the true. <laughs> that's true. I do, too. Yes. Everyone has their opinions. Yes, yeah, just mostly yeah. Chris. No, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> hey, no, no pick, me. I have shitty hot takes. Stop picking on me. I like picking on you. <laughs> Listen, he's the cuckold. You could pick on him, too, what if you the want. Fuck? Oh, that was <laughs> Right? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he just saying that? <laughs> All right. Yeah, Com- don't kink shame. That's <laughs> yeah, Bo. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm canceled. Good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so what about movies? Like, what have been some of your favorite comedy movies over the years? I was, like, obsessed with Zoolander. <laughs> Well, now there you go. You were obsessed with Zoolander. Yeah, that's, right? that's like a true comedy movie. You ready? I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you do the... Uh... Literally, I'm addicted to Blue Steel. That's like my only face when I do photos. Ready? <laughs> nailed it. Yeah, nailed, nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I love it. I got another one for you. Wait, this is Magnum. <laughs> 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 Same look. And that is a great movie, though. Yeah, it Zoolander's really is. Great. That is a good one. I loved the South Park movie. Yeah, I I watched that a lot. Bigger, <laughs> longer, uncut. Yep, that's right. <laughs> right up there with Casablanca. That's right. The movies go absolutely. All right, who's the funniest porn star? I love Nathan Bronson. He's pretty freaking out there he's pretty hilarious he's like super high energy guy he's hilarious and then me and Liv um revamped have a really good time together too we're always laughing and like talking shit and having a good time right so here's the here's the question everybody wants to know what's the craziest thing a fan ever asked you to do or give us your horror story (laughs) one guy has this vor fantasy a vor fantasy is when like you want to be like eaten Um, so like, so sometimes you want to be like shrunk and eaten or like turned into like a food object and be eaten. Mm -hmm. So this guy wanted me to be like, I can't remember his name. Like, Ooh, Mitchell, like you're such a bad boy. I'm going to turn you into a turkey. And then to literally (laughs) like zap, bap, booey, turn him into a turkey and then cook a turkey in the oven. And then he wanted me to like, seriously wanted me to buy a whole turkey, like with the head and everything. Like, I don't know where the fuck I'm going to get this turkey. But he wanted me to buy a whole turkey with a whole head, totally intact turkey, cook said turkey, and then proceed to like pull off a drumstick and eat him, him as a turkey. <laughs> and the whole thing was so ridiculous because it was like, I'm not cooking a turkey for 13 hours to eat you. You crazy, but what he got? And I'm not, I can't get a freaking turkey with a head on it. It was crazy. I didn't know what he wanted me to do. I like that one. But that's that's like probably one of the more like whimsical, cute ones. Oh, that's cute. But do yeah. I do you have any non-whimsical horror ones? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a really gross one. Okay, we like it. If this turns like the whole room silent because it's just like too gross, let's cut it out. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I had one guy who wanted me to talk about how I kidnapped his whole family and starved them for several days and then fed them my poop. <laughs> <laughs> and then they would all die from eating my poop. And that was his fantasy. Well, uh, is that like too much? No, it's not too oh, much. We have a it, doesn't, it doesn't feel funny. It's just gross. You know, there's a lot of people who have poop fantasies, right? That that happens. But that yeah. killing your whole family and having a poop fantasy, that is definitely, there's some damage yeah. there. Yeah. You probably know people who like to say the most fucked up, dirtiest thing they can think of because it gets a laugh and they're sort of addicted to saying the most 
disgusting shit possible. I think sometimes we start jerking off and we sort of start playing a game with ourselves with like, okay, what's the worst shit I can think of? That's where that guy landed on <laughs> shit eating family. Like, you know, comedians, like we're reaction junkies. That's our whole mm. thing, right? Right. We can't yeah. even feel good about ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting... somebody laughing in our face, you know? Right. right. So, yeah, I guess I kind of get that. You know, you like to get crazy reactions and maybe they love getting it out of you. Do you do cam work still or do you just do movie? I hate camming. Okay. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. I think because I'm just so bad at it that it feels like desperate. <laughs> you know, like because I'm sitting there just being like, please give me money and stuff like that. I'm just like, no, I will not. They always want you, they, you to shove something in your pussy that's too big for your pussy. Or, you know, they, they always want some ridiculous you know, they want some big razzle dazzle show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we sure do. They'll give you a 50 cent tip. Here's six bucks. I Jam this won't. car in your ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Important question. Who's funnier, Canadians or Americans? Like, we have Jim Carrey, <laughs> who's pretty outstanding. Yeah. And you guys have like everyone else <laughs> like, <laughs> are you guys kids in the hall fans yeah oh, absolutely yeah, definitely yeah. yeah yeah so we have kids in the hall but you guys have snl a <laughs> lot of the snl people though actually came from canada and oh, I, russell peters is canadian russell peters dan Aykroyd. all right so <laughs> in closing tell us a joke i only have like one joke and it's so stupid tell it tell it, it. okay 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 why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? Why? Uh, well, we don't know. Oh, drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> that was amazing. That was great. Folks, <laughs> MinaWolf.com. Ta-da. <laughs> she is Mina the Wolf on all her social media don't go to all these other people who steal her social media name. and Yeah, I, those they, fakey weirdos. I know, there's tons of them <laughs> on so many, Instagram. There's always, like, somebody trying to be official Mina Wolf, and it's not yours. But that's how you know you've made it, because people are trying to be like you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You can look at it that <laughs> way. Ripping off, ripping you off. Basically. That's it. So <laughs> go to Mina the Wolf on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and make sure you tell... Mina, you love her and that you loved her interview here. And you were amazing. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Mina. Thank you. We had a great time with you. So you have a great day. I kidnapped his whole family and starved them several days and then fed them my poop. And that was his fantasy. Oh, yeah, don't kink shame. That's, are these jokes or are these just shitty hot takes? <laughs> like, Here's six bucks. I Jam this walk. car in your ass. Yeah. I love acapella singing groups. So I did. My if you have a second right now, click the follow button, ring the bell, share this lovely Comedians Talk to Porn Stars podcast episode. It really helps us, and we really appreciate your help. We are at Blazo Network on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, everything at Blazo Network. Yes, there you can send us questions, comments, suggestions, trolls, and whatever else you like for both ourselves and our guests. And don't forget to visit our website, blazo.com. Go on the right-hand column of any page and join our mailing list. Every month that you stay on the mailing list, you are eligible to win free stuff, like t-shirts and mugs and porn star. No, no, uh, but still, you're going to win free stuff. Get on the mailing list, blazo.com. You can support us by buying our merch at blazo.com slash shop. We not only have our fabulous Comedians Talk to Porn Stars merch, but also our popular New Jersey Comedy Syndicate and Mr. Blazo stuff as well. Great stuff at great prices at blazo.com slash shop. You can find out more about Bo and his Alternative Life Coach site at alternativelifecoach.com. Yes, that's right. Bo's day job is helping people who live alternative lifestyles, like actors, comedians, musicians, the polyamorous, and the kinky, play better in their life. Alternativelifecoach.com. Chris Park can be found at Chris Park Comedy 
on all social media. That's at Chris Park Comedy. Today's episode is brought to you by Transcend CBD. 100% organic, full-spectrum CBD oils, gummies, and pain creams for both you and your pets. Chosen as the number one CBD oil in the LA Weekly. Go to blazo.com slash CBD. You can really help and support us by buying your CBD at blazo.com slash CBD. Blazo.com slash CBD. Blazo!